everyone and welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about what exactly is ad rank, why it matters, and three ways that you can easily improve it. So what exactly is ad rank? According to Google, the official definition is a value that's used to determine your ad position and whether your ads will show at all. For example, if your ad shows up in the second position on the page, your ad rank for that particular search is a two. But what factors actually impact your ad rank? Before 2017, ad rank was really a simple calculation involving your max CPC and the number of competitors relative to the search. Since Google Ads introduced some key changes to the way ad rank is calculated, such as thresholds and machine learning, it's become a lot more complex. To put things simply, ad rank is calculated by your bid amount, your auction time, ad quality, competitiveness of the specific auction, context of the user's search, and the expected impact of extensions and other ad formats. Each keyword search is analyzed by determining the above factors to then give it an ad rank. That means that every search that you do is fundamentally different. In one search auction, you could have an ad rank of one, but in the very next, you could have an ad rank of four. In order to fully understand ad rank, let's dive a little bit deeper into each of the factors above. Your bid amount, well, this is pretty simple. This is the amount that you are willing to pay to show up in a specific position when a user searches a keyword. There are minimum and maximum thresholds for this. For example, if you set a maximum CPC of $2 and the next highest bidder has a max CPC of $1.60, you would then pay $1.61 in that auction. Next up, we have ad quality, which there are three main factors that go into determining your ad quality. This includes expected click-through rate, ad relevance, and landing page experience. Next up, we've got some user signals and attributes, and these are pretty much things like location, device type, time of day, um, and then the ad rank thresholds will vary based on these factors. There's also the context of the search that you need to consider. The two different people could actually search the same keyword and they could have completely different contexts. So Google is gonna know that and they're gonna keep that in mind when evaluating your ad rank. Next up, there's obviously the competitiveness of the auction. Your ad rank can depend pretty much um, wildly depending on um, related but similar searches. For example, if you wanted to compare wedding invitations versus wedding invites, those search terms could be informed by each other because they're similar in nature. There's also the expected impact of ad extensions and other formats. So Google is gonna look at your ad extensions for the relevancy, CTR, and the overall experience the user might have with the ad. Essentially, this is all an auction. It's pretty much assumed that if you bid higher, you'll land in the top advertising spot. However, things are a lot more complex than that, and it's not really the case anymore. You could be bidding significantly less than a competitor of yours in an auction, but because you have higher quality ads, you outrank them. Now that we've gone through the basics of ad rank and how it's calculated, here are three ways that you can improve your ad rank, all without spending any more money. First off, you can improve your ad relevance. Ad relevance is a major component of your ad rank. As mentioned earlier, ad relevance is one of the three components that comprise ad quality or quality score. According to Google's official definition, ad relevance is how closely your ad matches the intent behind a user's search. So how do you improve it? Well, I would start by auditing your current ad copy and cross-reference those keywords against what you're bidding on. Does it match? Do your headlines, do your descriptions include keywords that a user is actually searching for? Responsive search ads are a pretty great way to test out different copies to then determine what resonates best with a user. I'd then match these responsive search ads with expanded text ad placements. Now, Google does give some reporting on headlines and descriptions, including what they rank from low to best in terms of performance. If you've found a winning ad copy that performs well, you could also pin your top performing headlines to the top of your, uh, your responsive search ads, ensuring that it always shows up in your ad. Now, while you should focus on including relevant keywords in your copy the user is searching for, don't get this confused with keyword stuffing. Gone are the days where you could just have SCAGs, single keyword ad groups, and it used to be really easy to have higher ad relevance with SCAGs because you were almost always matching a specific search term with your headline. 
With Google's expansion of exact match types, advertisers have to switch away from Skags and focus on the total picture. Everyone searches differently, and if you're relying on Skags in your account to drill down to a particular level, you could be limiting yourself. Secondly, part of Google's definition of ad relevance is how much an ad matches the user's intent. So if I search for keyword research tool, I'm clearly looking for how much a tool like that would cost me per month. Ad relevance is not just trying to fit keywords as many times into your copy as possible. Google's focused more on the intent of a user and how well your ad can help that user solve a problem. Next up, focus on ad extension content. Ad extensions are something that can easily be forgotten when setting up new campaigns and ad groups. They could seem tedious or unimportant, but the contrary is actually true. Ad extensions are a vital part of increasing your ad rank on Google. They help increase your CTR, therefore in turn helping you increase your ad rank. Why do they help you increase your CTR? Well, ad extensions allow you to give users additional information about your business that you couldn't convey in your limited characters in your ad. After all, we are limited by character counts with headlines and descriptions. But don't just add extensions for the sake of adding them. In fact, if you add extensions to a campaign or an ad group that don't align with the search terms, this could actually lower your ad rank. So when and how should you use ad extensions? Well, you can use them for almost anything. Google continues to produce additional ways that we as advertisers can get our message across to a user to help them solve a problem. As of now, these are the available ad extensions that you can create. Location, site link, call out, structured snippet, price, app, image, lead form, promotion, and call. With a ton of options, how do you even choose which ones you want to add? Well, ideally, you should create ad extensions based on your campaign goal. For example, if you're a local business and you're trying to drive in-store traffic, you'd benefit from adding location extensions. However, if you're trying to drive phone calls and you're a call center or something similar, then you should use the call extension. If your goal is to drive more web traffic, try adding relevant site links to different parts of your site that could help solve a user's problem and provide value. If your main goal is lead generation, try adding a lead form extension to your ad, especially if your landing page needs a little bit of an optimization. But we'll get more into landing pages right up next. So to summarize about ad extensions, be specific about the extensions you want to add to your campaigns. Aligning them with your campaign goals could significantly increase your ad rank. Next up, just create better landing pages. This is a funny one and it's kind of simple, but landing pages are really a forgotten piece of the conversion rate puzzle. However, I'd argue this is the most important part to get right in improving your ad rank. If you've ever clicked on a paid ad and you were disappointed about the landing page experience, you know how frustrating this can be. As a Google search user, the user experience can make or break whether or not you purchase. Your search query should be a direct indicator of what you expect to see when you go to a website. Back in the day, many advertisers would consume so much time creating a different landing page for each ad group to ensure that the page had exactly what the user was searching for. In theory, this is good, but if only you are helping them solve a problem. If you're creating landing pages with fluff copy just to match the search term, you've got it all wrong. If you haven't noticed the theme of Google lately, it's all about what the intent is. We have to stop worrying about our landing page headline matching exactly what a user searches for and more about what they actually see when they land. There are many things to consider when you are thinking about a good landing page. What's the user's device? Are they on desktop or are they more mobile first? How much white space is there on the page? Whether there is a clear call to action before a user has to scroll. How many clicks does it take for a user to get their problem solved? And most importantly, how fast does your site load? The list can go on and on, but the point is your landing page experience has to be of quality and consistency in order to improve your ad rank. So much so that Google even adopted the landing page experience into its quality score metric. By putting in the legwork now on your landing pages, the results will show over time. So let's get into our conclusions. When it comes to improving ad rank, are you more apt to manipulate your bids and budgets? If this has been your go-to strategy, I encourage you to take a step back and look at the bigger picture of your campaigns. There are many factors that can influence your ads to shift the ad rank metric, all without spending more money on your campaign budget. 
So don't go and pull out your wallet right now. First, try and improve your ad copy to align with the user's search intent. Increase your ad CTR with strong and relevant ad extensions. Also, try focusing on improving your landing page experience for higher conversion rates. After you've put in the work on these pieces, then you can feel comfortable with shifting bids and budgets higher to dominate your top search position. Thanks so much for watching this video, and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to know when we upload next.